Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graph. In this equation, we'll draw a system of equations. They will intersect and form a triangle. We'll find the area of that triangle, right? So there's some typing error here. So the question here is, draw the graph of the given equation and find the area of the triangle formed. So we have these three equations and these represent equation of lines. So let us uh, on the Cartesian plane draw our axis first. So that is the vertical y axis and this is horizontal x axis. We'll actually graph these lines using slope and intercept. The very first one here is y equals to half x minus 4. Now to draw, let's use different colors. So we have y equals to half x minus 4. Now minus 4 is the y-intercept. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That becomes the y-intercept. And half is the slope. That means I have to go 1 up and 2 right. So when I go 1 up and 2 right, I get one point. 1 up and 2 right, another point, right? I could also move down and left. So 1 down and 2 left, 1 down and 2 left. So we have five points which can f give us an accurate graph. Connecting these, we get the first line. So you saw how using the concept of slope and intercept, we could actually sketch or we could actually in this case draw a graph, which is fairly accurate, right? So that is one of our line of interest. Now let's use this color for second line which is x equals to 2. Now when I say x equals to 2 it means it is a vertical line where for every point the value of x is 2. So that becomes a line which is parallel to y axis and it is as shown here. So this line is x equals to 2 right so that is the line x equals to 2. The first one is y equals to half x minus 4. Now let's draw the last line here, the third line, which is y equals to minus, you can write this as half of x plus 2. Now in this case, the y-intercept is at 2 and the slope is minus half. So we'll go down by 1 and 2 right. So 1 down, 2 right, 1 down, 2 right, 1 down, 2 right. right. So that is how we'll move. We could also go up and left and then we get some more points. So, to draw accurately, we need actually five points. So, we'll actually connect these points now and look for their intersections. So, as you can see here clearly, we got these points as the points of intersections. Now, these points enclose a triangle. Okay. So, so, the idea here is also to find area of this triangle which is formed by these three lines intersection correct so that is our second part area of the triangle so we've done the first part of sketching now to find the area we know area equals to half base into height In this particular case, since we have a vertical line, we can always say that base is this and it's easy to calculate the height, which is this much, right? So that becomes perpendicular. So we can easily find both base and height. So in this case, it is half of, we are considering that to be the base. Each centimeter is one unit, one, two, three, four. So base is four. And the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, also 4. Now 16 divided by 2 is 8, so we get 8 units square as the area of the given triangle. Perfect. So that is how you could actually find it. You could also write down the values of these points, coordinate points of these intersections. So we can now write here A is the coordinate value 1, I mean this 2, 1, 
for b the coordinate value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 1 and for c we get 1 2 1 2 3 so 2 minus 3 so these are few things which we can do after sketching a graph so i hope you understand and appreciate it we'll take a few examples for solving inequalities with the help of graph in the coming videos. I hope that will help further. Thanks for your time and all the best.